Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm really excited for this video. I'm actually super excited. Uh, I made my first Sword and Shield team, and I also uh, have uploaded it publicly, so you guys, if you are interested in the team, you can use it yourself, or yourselves. Um, anyway, what's up? I'm really, really excited for this format. I think it's going to be incredible. Everything that I've seen about it see, makes it seem challenging, but really interesting, and, and yeah, overall, it looks like it could be great. Before we uh, get into the video, I do just want to say thank you. We had like a thousand new subscribers yesterday, which is incredible. Like, um, at this rate, we could hit 100,000 by the end of the month, which would just be crazy, crazy. Um, so yeah, I, I, again, I know I plug it every video, I'm going to keep doing it, but if we can get 100,000 subscribers by March, um, we're currently on track for December, but if we can get it by March, I'll be doing Pokemon Academy, building a bunch of these teams, sharing them with you guys, um, doing lessons, really helping uh, teach anyone who wants to learn about competitive Pokemon and why it's such an incredible game. I'll be reviewing teams, doing team feedback playing battles with people, giving homework, all that stuff, having guest lecturers, all that good stuff. Um, and the very last thing I want to talk about before we jump into today's uh, video is I just want to say thank you. Um, I really hope I got everybody, but a huge thank you to Dylan, uh, Wadoherty, Mancuso, Colin Sky, Tom Hull, Wendigo, and Iron Nemesis. I might have missed somebody. If I did, I'm really sorry. Um, it's been so hectic today, but um, I couldn't have, like, I had a ton of help um, getting this team in game from people who had already bred some of them on. So I just want to say thank you because... Um, yeah, because, because uh, I, I really wanted to start getting games on the board and uh, playing with this team, and I, I couldn't have done it without you. So, this is the team that I'm going to be using today. Um, it is Sylveon, Dragapult, Arcanine, Ferrothorn, Mamoswine, and Rotom Wash. Um, all those spreads are 252, 252. I feel like that's solid, just early meta before anything. Um, you really learn too much. Um, Sylveon is Pixelate with Throat Spray and Helping Hand Protect Mystical Fire and Hyper Voice. I actually wanted Wish, but I couldn't get one in time for this video, so um, that might be an update the, to the team at some point. The next Pokemon up is Dragapult with U-Turn, Dragon Dart, Phantom Force, and Dragon Claw with Choice Band. Um, I originally thought Dragon Dance Dragapult could be good, and I think it still can be, but um, with Dragapult's huge speed, I feel like that's um, that's something you can take advantage of with Choice Band, and I like having both Dragon Darts and Dragon Claw, so that if you need a stronger single target move, you can use Dragon Claw. Um, yeah, I think Dragapult's a super cool mod. Great typing. And the, to complete our Fairy Dragon Steel Core, we have Ferrothorn, who I actually think... So, the, the theory behind this team is that Z, uh, not Z, G Dynamax Mamoswine raises special defense, and Ferrothorn with one or two special defense boosts with leftovers and leech seed just seems unkillable. So that's a synergy that I'm really excited to try out with this team. Um, yeah, uh, but Ferrothorn here is here just to be a tank, um, help against Gyarados, which is really big in the current meta. Uh, and I just like Ferrothorn, honestly. Like, it has offensive problems, but I think on a, in a very offensive team and in a very offensive metagame, it could actually do okay because the opponent, opposing uh, teams don't have as much bulk. Um, next up is Arcanine. Arcanine is very fast on this team, so Dragapult and Arcanine are fast. Sylveon is slow and offensive. Ferrothorn's pure bulk. Um, Arcanine's max speed, max HP, Adamant. Uh, Protect Will-O-Wisp, Extreme Speed, and Flare Blitz. Uh, I just figured Arcanine was cool. I didn't really feel like the, um, like the fighting type Intimidators were something that I wanted here, and I already had a water type with Rotom, so I wanted to use Arcanine as my Intimidator. Um, something that I like about this team is that we have the Fairy Dragon Steel Core and the Fire Water Grass Core with Arcanine, Rotom, Ferrothorn and then Sylveon, Dragapult, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's cool because it fills both roles. Um, for those of you who don't know, Oblivious Mamoswine ignores Intimidate, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to try it. I was really torn in the last slot. My, my Twitch subscribers already saw this team, but I ended up going with High Horsepower because only Rotom is immune to Earthquake. Um, so I figured that was cool. But yeah, this is fast, offensive, adamant Mamoswine with Assault Vest. Basically, just be super bulky. Um, and then lastly, we have Scarf Rotom, which is cool. Discharge, Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, and Trick. With both Ferrothorn and Memoswine, I figured Discharge is actually a cool move on this team, and Trick could be really useful as well, although I think it's not as good. But yeah, um, I've actually haven't, let's see, I actually, ha uh, I actually haven't played any rank battles yet, as you can see, so, um, yes, 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 I don't play, I think. Double battle, let's see, I, th I think so, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go, I might, I might, I might, um, I, I just started, so I'm gonna be in a low tier, um, so, yeah, is this? I'm just worried that, uh, oh god. I hope that I've done this correctly. Oh, I want, I want the, I want the gym leader theme. Okay, I just hope that all my Pokemon are leveled up. I hope this is ranked competitive. Okay, level 50. Okay, cool. So, to check my opponent's team. So my opponent actually, okay, this team is actually, this is actually a good team. So Hugo here, this looks kind of tricky. So Hugo's team here is hard rain, and we don't have that much for rain, and it has Raichu, who has Lightning Rod as well, so 
Um, when I'm looking at this team, I know that Rotom's going to be important. I think Ferrothorn's going to be important. I think um, Dragapult's going to be pretty important here. And... Jeez, who's the last one we want? Um, this actually... I think we could lose this pretty easily. The thing is, I want Intimidate, but I don't want Arcanine. Which makes kind of my my uh, decision-making really hard. Um, I also am not super comfortable with Gi Dynamax yet, so... Um, my instinct says lead Dragapult with and Rotom with Ferrothorn in the back. Because that gives me safe pivot pressure, and then... Barrascuta just really makes me scared. Because, yeah, it's, just, it's a very strong Pokemon. Um... He's already locked in. Well, I have to make my choice. So I think I'm doing Rotom Dragapult lead. I like that a lot. Um, with Ferrothorn in the back. And then I honestly, I, I'm i really not sure, but I think I'm going to bring Sylveon on here. Um, but yeah. I'm really, uh, this is this is so cool. Like, it's so interesting to just to, uh, to play against opponents who I like, you know, with Pokemon. Oh, my trainer's so lame. <laughs> yeah, but it's so cool to play like with these new Pokemon. And I I'm probably not going to be great at the beginning. I'll be honest, but I expect they'll get up to speed pretty soon. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like if you want to see more battles on my channel because, like, how well my videos do determines what, like, what the ratio of content that I produce is, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Okay, so he leaves off with Ludicolo and, uh, Pelipper. So I think there's one of two things. Oh, I have Discharge. Oh my god, that's so good. So I think I'm going to switch my Rotom out here. I'm not that worried about, um... I'm not that worried about... I think either Raichu switches in or they go for Giga Drain. Both, both of which are kind of bad for me. So, the only question is what do I do with... I think I'm going to U-turn this Ludicolo. Let's just go ahead and do some damage to it. I could go for Dragon Darts, but I think I need to save um, Dragapult, personally. I think that's a pretty important thing for me here. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed as well. It's kind of hard for me to know when you're supposed to Dynamax. But, this seems like a good situation for Ferrothorn. My Ferrothorn is especially bulky. Um, and if I U-turn into Sylveon here... Okay, that should be the Raichu. I think that's going to be the Raichu. Oh, okay. Interesting. Then maybe this is Giga Drain? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it has Leaf Storm now! That's not great! Oh, Dragapult, I'm sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry, Dragapult. No freeze? Okay, excellent. So we didn't get Frozen, which is good. Oh! Uh... uh oh! Huh. We'll take that. Okay, Dragapult might be stronger than I realized. Choice Band Dragapult might be stronger than I, I realized. Um... Let's see... I think this is a good time to go back into Rotom. Let's go and scout out, out if, um... Oh my god. Dynamax Ferrothorn just sounds like a nightmare. Like, actually. What is this, what is my opponent going to do against Dynamax Ferrothorn? <laughs> what are they going to do? Pelipper comes back in. Okay. So, okay, let's check their team again. This is so cool. I, I this, I'm actually... I, I know it's like... God, this is so fun. Okay, so they either have... Oh, I didn't bring anything for... Oh, I have Mystical Fire Sylveon. I'm so smart. I forgot about it. I didn't even pay it. I didn't even look at the Ferrothorn. So I, I definitely should have Arcanine in the last slot right now. That would have been way better. Um, I still have 45 seconds left. Let's see. God, this music is great. Okay. Ferrothorn's gonna... I think, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and use my, my max move now. I'm gonna power up into Seismitoad. Does he power up into Seismitoad? And then I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch into Pelipper. I think there's a very good chance this doesn't work. But, in the worst case, they go into... Nope. Uh oh, who's maxing? Who's maxing? It's them. Isn't it? Seismitoad, okay. I think max overgrowth will KO here in Seismitoad. Um, and I don't think that Seismitoad will be able to do too much to Rotom. No, there's no way Seismitoad can KO Rotom after maxing. Big Ferrothorn. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, so I think in this situation, uh, because my opponent didn't switch in Raichu turn one, I think that's telling to us that they don't that they don't have Raichu in this battle. That's my thought process here. I also made sure to give them all the right the number of candies. Three hundred sixty-two HP Ferrothorn is illegal. That's not that's not okay. Let's see what they go for. Max Quake. Okay, that's into Ferrothorn, but that does mean that Rotom gets a Volt Switch off. Um, what does that do? What does that do? Special Defense. Right, right. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. Rotom gives a Volt Switch here, which is huge. Yeah, they have Sash. Let's see. I think, realistically, my opponent probably doubled my Ferrothorn. So I actually think... Call me crazy, but I actually think I'm safe to go into Dragapult here. Yeah, I think I am. Because I don't think there's any way they went for, like, Ice Beam or Hurricane into Rotom. 
Let's see. Hurricane comes out. This should be into Ferrothorn. As long as I don't get confused. That's the one thing that could be bad here, but I don't. Um. Oh, that's very interesting. Huh. That's not going to KO. And it's not going to KO, but it does a lot of damage. Through Rindo... Oh, I crit. That's why. <laughs> Through Rindo and Dynamax doing that much damage is actually crazy. Tell me this isn't... Tell me this doesn't look incredible. Tell me this isn't, like, so fun. I don't know. Oh, no. I healed the Seismic Toad. Not very much, though. This turn is actually really tricky for me, in my, uh, in my opinion, because... Actually, no. I know exactly what I need to do. Okay. What I'm going to do here is... So this is tricky, because my Dragapult can't protect, which makes things kind of hard. Um, however, if I power up into Seismitoad here, or max overgrowth into Seismitoad, and go for a U-turn into Pelipper, then if Seismitoad KOs Dragapult, that's fine, and I still have um, I still have Rotom in the back. But more importantly, if Seismitoad KOs Dragapult, which is the only way that he can KO Dragapult without me KOing Pelipper, um, then... In that case, I KO Seismitoad with Ferrothorn. And then, I have one more turn of Dynamax left, which means that I can use Ferrothorn to KO Pelipper through Protect. Ah, that's gonna be into uh, Dragapult. Wait, do, does, don't I resist that? Yeah, I resist that. Should use Max Ground. And I figure with Trick on Rotom, like, I figured I could probably, um... I can probably be... I assume his last Pokemon is Ferrothorn here, so I assumed that... With Trick on Rotom and Mystical Fire Sylveon, I think that I can probably beat his Ferrothorn anyway, regardless. Um, yeah. So that was the theory. One thing that I haven't really heard people talk about with max moves is the ability for you to forego, like, a low accuracy move, like Power Whip. Power Whip into Seismitoad is kind of scary, because if you miss, you could be in trouble. Um, however, oh my god, Ferrothorn's so big, dude. Yeah, anyway, how, like, basically because of the max move, I don't have to worry about uh, missing. Which is really cool. So I think that max moves are going to be most powerful when they are utilized as combinations, personally. Um, however, what's interesting about this battle is that I didn't... Like, I guess that there's more than one way to... The, or more than one proper way to use Dynamax, right? That's kind of what I'm learning from this, is that... Yes, is, it, is, is Dynamaxing your Pokemon in order to... Um, to, like, do cool combinations? Oh, it's Barascuda. Oh, that thing's really scary. Uh, that's one way to use it, but also just the extra bulk seems to be huge. Like, I kind of doubt that this Barascuda can, like, KO me, even. I don't know too much about Barascuda, but it's it's so scary. It's a terrifying Pokemon. Oh, that's smart. Um, I also think is kind of interesting on Rain, at least against a team like mine. It depends a lot in the metagame, because a lot, basically a lot depends on, um... A lot depends on how popular Arcanine is, but like in a match like this one, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Is that a joke? That wasn't even a crit. Is anyone else surprised by that? I just did 50%. My Ferrothorn has four Eevees in attack. Yes, it's grassy terrain. Yes, it's Bear Scuda. Even still, that's that's actually wild. That propeller tail just got bopped. Holy cow. Um, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like having a Pokemon like Ferrothorn. What what's the what's the ability on this thing? What's the what's Barascuta's ability? Is it Swift Swim? I thought it was like propeller attack. Propeller tail. Barascuta. They gave it Swift Swim? Wait, it actually is called Propeller Tail. I'm that's so funny. I just I was just commenting on the fact that it has a propeller tail. Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> Anyway, 4-0! Unbeatable Pokemon team? This team can't can't lose a single Pokemon? Oh, Hugo was number 69. You hate to see it. That's not nice. Cool. I want to continue battling. We'll do one more, I think, for this episode and then call it a call it a vid. I'm still a beginner. Well, but I gained some points. I don't like wait, was champion? I want the I want gym battle. No! I don't want hop. <laughs> Oh, it feels so bad. Alright. This looks more like an in-game team, so I'm sure we'll get totally destroyed. Um, hmm. Surfetch means we probably just straight up lose right away. Um, I think I can use this as an opportunity to sign a showcase Sylveon. I feel like that could be cool. Um, Arcanine looks pretty good here. So, I didn't use Sylveon, Mamoswine, or Arcanine in my last battle. Oh, they just locked in. 
I think I'm going to lead off with... I'm going to do uh, Arcanaut... Wait, it's, this is so hard that I can't see their team. I think I want Arc... Oh, I can't intimidate Stirfetched, and it's fighting type? That makes things kind of actually really scary. Jeez, I actually don't know what to do. Um, I have 50 seconds left. Pecking is way harder. I think I'm not going to bring... Ferrothorn? But how am I going to beat uh, Alcremie? Ferrothorn is really not great here. I'm... But, uh, I'm bringing, I'm leaving Ferrothorn, and I'm going to leave Rotom. So that means I'm bringing the other four. So, let's do, I want to lead with Dragapult because it's really fast. Um, I want to lead with Arcanine to get the quick Intimidate, and then in the back will have Mamoswine and Sylveon. I'm pretty sure these are the wrong Pokemon to bring here, but um, that's okay. I'm learning. This is, this is a lot of learning right now. <laughs> I love that trainer card. NMCU question mark why? Amazing trainer card. I gotta watch out for Colossal. That thing scares me. Because it's so good. Surfetch and Inteleon leaves. Okay, so those are two Pokemon that I feel kinda comfortable with Sylveon against. Um actually, you know what I can do here? Okay, it's it's not scrappy, it's steadfast. Oh yeah, I forgot about Surfetch. So I think I want to just go for a... I'm just going to lock into Dragon Claw, I think. Go for Dragon Claw on Extreme Speed here. Um, break a Sash. Because Surf Edge, because it's minus one, and it's not that fast. Um, oh my god, he could just Dynamax and Teleon. I totally forgot. God, that makes things so much harder. Oh my god. Well, I think I need to get damage on Inteleon regardless, but I did not think about maxing Dynamax in there. Okay, they didn't Dynamax. That's good. Yeah, that thing definitely puts in a range of Dragon Claw. I actually, until I wasn't positive how fast Inteleon is, I just know that Dragapult is super fast. So, yeah. But that's an example where if they had Dynamax there, I could have been in trouble. Okay, I'm going to be honest, this looks kind of like an in-game team. So we are, I think we do have an advantage. However, underestimating your opponent is the quickest way to lose, especially in Pokemon. Especially against Surfetched. Never underestimate Surfetched. You know what I'm saying? Hmm... I hate Hop. Alright, Darmanitan. So, what do we do here? I don't have Thick Fat on Mamoswine. If it's Scarf... I'm gonna double Darmanitan. I think that Darmanitan and Arcanine are the same speed stat. If it's Scarf... If Surfetch has shown that it can't do that much damage to Arcanine, so... And I really don't want to switch here. Okay. So it's not Scarf, so that means that unless it's just How strong is Dragapult? I thought it was just like a regular Pokemon, but... Everything Dragapult has touched has died. Why did I think Surfetch said Thick Fat? Burn! That's ridiculous. What does that do? What does that do? What does that do? Oh, is Arcanine dead? Nah, it's not in that. Oh, okay, crit. I know my damage... I know my Meteor Salt damage calcs. What does that do? Does anyone know? Um, I'm gonna max my Mano. I'm definitely going to max my memo here. Flapple. Okay. <laughs> what does this do? Lowers the target's attack stat? Oh, wait, but I lose my choice band if I do that. I actually don't want to do that. Um, so I guess I'll just raw Dragon Claw and... kind of want to just... Wait, what's the accuracy on this thing? Is it... 90 versus 95? Um... Surfetch honestly isn't a threat. Just in case it maxes, I'm going to double Flapple here. I'm pretty sure Meteor Assault is like Hyper Beam. Okay, he does not max. I think this is going to kill. I don't think Flapple's very bulky. Yeah. Oh no, we lost a Pokemon. We only lost a Pokemon to Hax. That doesn't count. If you get crit to lose a Pokemon, then you really won 4 0. So, we'll count. And also, it was Surfetch. You can't. Surfetch. There's no way to not lose to Surfetch. Even when you win, you lose. Um, but yeah, that's my first team. That's my first take at it. Um, I feel good about how it's feeling so far. Uh. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in showing like kind of you guys my process and how I go about refining teams and stuff. So I'll probably keep using this team. I have a couple ideas for how to change it. Like I think Sylveon might be a weak link. I'm not totally sold on Mamoswine. Dragapult I wasn't sold on until just this minute, and now I'm extremely on board. Um, I'm gonna run some calcs with that thing after because I just kind of I just wanted to start playing. This isn't super refined or polished or anything, but um, feel free to use the team yourselves and then let me know if you have any feedback and if you have any thoughts on the team. But um, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to get into this actually playing again um i think it's gonna be incredible but 
yeah, thank you again for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't, so we can do VGC Ac or Pokemon Academy, which I really want to do, but I've set a goal, so we're gonna we're gonna stick to that. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Goodbye.